Hi, pals. Coming up on this week's episode to Go With The Heat, the duo have to decide if they should bring down a serial killer or a major drug dealer in the episode Honor Among Thieves. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from February 29th to March 6, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 2nd, the 30th Annual Grammy Awards took place at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. Hosted by Billy Crystal, the night included many classics with U2 winning Album of the Year for Joshua Tree. Robin Williams would take home a Grammy for Best Comedy Recording and winning Best Song is somewhere out there from the movie An American Tale. In music, with George Michael still holding the top spot in the Hot 100, we go to the archives. At this point in time, there are two different songs in the top five on the Hot 100 from the movie Dirty Dancing. These are in addition to I've Had the Time of My Life, which reached number one just a few weeks ago. At number five is Hungry Eyes by Eric Harmon. Written by the same songwriters as I've Had, it's not the most important song this week. Reaching number three is She's Like the Wind from Wendy Frazier and the one and only Patrick Swayze. Co-written by Swayze, it's the one thing from Dirty Dancing worth remembering. She's out of my league, just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. She's like the wind. In movies, Good Morning Vietnam is still, still king of the box office, so we're digging deep into the archives. Released on February 26th is Frantic, starring Harrison Ford and directed by Roman Polanski. The mystery thriller film was a box office flop, but well received by critics praising Ford's performance. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.